In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up 301 redirects, also called URL mappings in Squarespace. Now, this is important if you are redesigning a website or perhaps you're disabling some older pages and you want to redirect those to new pages. If we haven't met, I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator. And if you're following along with my Squarespace pre-launch checklist, welcome back. If you don't have the checklist yet, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can grab it. All right, I'm here in my Sway template for service providers. If you're interested in checking out my template shop, I'll drop a link below. But again, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up 301 redirects, also called URL mapping in Squarespace. Now, why might you want to do that? Well, let's say that you are moving from an older website to a new website, and perhaps on the old website, your about page slug was called about dash us. And on this new site, it's just about. Well, we wanna preserve any SEO juice that was associated with that page and let Google know it's not broken. We've just updated the URL slug to something simpler. So the way you do that is, I'll show you two ways to get there because Squarespace is notorious for moving things around in the menus. So right now it's under settings and developer tools, URL mappings. Now, if you're not seeing it there, my favorite shortcut on Squarespace to find what I'm looking for is to click the forward slash key, which is also the question mark key on your keyboard. And then you can type in what you're looking for. So we're gonna call this URL and we're gonna click URL mappings. So here we are. And there are some examples below that show you how to set these up. And there are some wild cards here. So if you're moving over an entire blog and you're keeping the post URL slugs the same, but just updating the blog URL, you can do that using this configuration. But for my example, we're going to be just talking about a simple page redirect. So what you do is you do the forward slash key and the old URL, which was about dash us. Then you'll add a dash and a greater than sign. And you can copy this from down below and paste it in. If you'd like another space and slash about. So that is our old URL, our new URL. And then we're going to put the redirect type. This is a permanent redirect. We're not going to be going back. So it is 301. Hit return and then you can hit save. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind here. One is that this will only work if this older page no longer exists. So if you have both of these pages on your website, it's not gonna redirect. This one has to be disabled or deleted for it to redirect to the new one. So it's gonna look for this. When it can't find it, it will redirect to the new one. The other thing to keep in mind is if you've changed your domain name, that's a whole different ball of wax. So if you are updating your domain name, you're gonna to want to go into domains. Remember to save any URL mappings that you did there. We're gonna go into domains and you're either gonna get a domain or use a domain you own. And you'll see that here. Let me just show you what that looks like on my website. So right now I have one domain, christyprice.com. It's connected, it's my primary domain. Now, if I wanted to change my domain to another one, I would go through that same process to get a domain or use a domain I own and add it here. It will add it as a secondary domain, but if I want that to become my primary domain, I can click on the secondary domain once it's here, change it to primary, and then my original domain becomes a secondary domain. And when you do that, the SEO juice from this original domain is carried over to the new domain, and it's automatically like setting up 301 redirects for that entire domain. So you don't need to do anything unless the page URL slugs change as well. Now, if you are redirecting page URLs in Squarespace, I do have a free spreadsheet here that you can make a copy of and use for yourself. You don't have to enter your email address. You can just grab a copy here. It walks you through how to use it in this post, and I'll drop a link below to that as well. If you found this helpful, please click the like button or drop a comment below as that helps other people find my videos. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best with your website.